And like our African proverb says, a man cannot sit alone and plan for prosperity. You have to sit with people. And I Am Cameroon is just that platform for you to come and sit with us and plan for your prosperity. And don't forget that your prosperity is the prosperity of your family, your village, and your nation. Join us in I Am Cameroon as we welcome our very host, Nad <laughs> Mamwa Jeme. Mamwa, you're welcome. And I know you're going to make a joke of this, Mamwa. <laughs> I can't help it but laugh. Thank you. Welcome, Mamwa. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome to our fortnightly show on the I Am Cameroon program where we talk about how we can collectively move forward and make change in our community. And Lee, you're knowing me too well because I was gonna make fun of that, but I'm gonna spare you this time around. So, so, so we're, very, we're very happy to have you here on this Saturday. We're looking forward to a very engaging show, as always, on this platform where we educate, inspire, and engage Cameroonians to take charge of the, of the development that we need in our community. We're also going to have Mr. Ivan Yenguia, who's also a holder of an MBA from Webster University. He is the founder of iWing Marketplace, an online platform that connects sellers and buyers. Since 1999, Ivan has been working with small or micro and medium-sized enterprises, providing solutions to build a strong brand, increase exposure and sales in multiple countries, including Thailand, Kenya, Cameroon, Jamaica, and the United States. Ivan has a repertoire of more than 20 years in marketing, sales, and branding to help boost promotion and sales. That said, as our, pro as our proverb for today says, you can, a man cannot sit alone and plan for prosperity. And that said, uh, I'm gonna go over to Ivan now. And Ivan is the founder of iWing Marketplace. And Ivan, I would just, would you just tell us a little bit about how did you come about creating iWing Marketplace and what is it all about? Thank you so much again, Mama. Uh, that's a, a very good start. I, I love answering this question. So I kept saying to myself, like, you know, nowadays we have so many graduates, we have so many people who are very qualified, but then, then unemployment is so high. What can we do to help our people? So I thought it wise, it's good to come out with the marketplace because the most important thing about uh, business is visibility. You can, be, you can be the best hair breeder. You can be the best makeup artist. But if nobody knows about you, you will not make money. So I thought it wise, if I come out with a platform like iWing Marketplace, it's going to inspire so many of our youth back home and those abroad to either list their businesses or list their business to increase their visibility or those who have not started anything can also create a business and list on the platform. So we're doing a lot of different things to inspire people. That is, we have, uh, apart from the platform iWing Marketplace where people can list their business and connect with buyer, with, 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 uh, with, with buyers. We also do like live interview where we interview entrepreneurs to talk about their story so that it can inspire others. We also write so many articles that people can read and be informed on how to you know, grow their business. So it's really a very beautiful initiative. So many people have welcomed it and you know, here we are today. Thank, thank you so much, Ivan. So just to, to kind of uh, hone in on, on what you just said about market, uh, iWing Marketplace. So this is like, a, in other words, it's like a platform that is almost like Amazon, right? Where you can go in and search for particular products or particular buyers or sellers and get exactly what you need, right? Just for me very, to, very good. to understand. Very, very good point. It's like, it's like uh, Amazon. And at the same time, it's like Fiverr. Fiverr is a platform where you can get freelancers. And at the same time, it's like Etsy where you can get handmade stuff. So like uh, 
the whole idea is more of a marketplace and a search engine. Because nowadays, the trends of doing business is changing quickly. There are new technologies that have emerged like uh, mobile phone, smartphone. It gives the opportunity for people to search based on location. So like Iwing Marketplace at the same time, it's like Amazon. It's also like Google because you can do nearby search and you can search for businesses based on uh, different cities and even countries. So what does this, uh, what's the benefit for people that are searching for uh, products and services? It makes it easier for them to locate our Cameroonian businesses and mm -hmm. small African businesses that normally you won't even find them on Google. Take for example, if you're in Maryland and you need like a hair breeder on the go, you know, you can easily search and see one that is nearby. So then it saves you time, it saves you money and it keeps the money in circulating in our community. So this is all what Iron Marketplace is about. It's about creating opportunities for us. It's about keeping the money circulating in our communities so that these small businesses that we're supporting today can become big businesses in the future. For them to transition, they need money. So by advertising on this platform, it's a good saving for them because you know marketing, People neglect it. They think it's very easy. A lot of people, you know, they think like, when I build a good product, people will come. So they always left, leave out uh, the marketing aspect of their business. But according to SBA, that's the Small Business Association in the US, it's advisable for businesses to always invest at least I mean, 5% or 15% of their uh, profit on advertisement because you need to uh, get new customers. So this is something that we Cameroonians and a lot of Africans have failed to master. We always rely on word of mouth. Word of mouth is one of the tactics that you can use to get customers. So this is an, I mean marketplace is an addition to just word of mouth. So. It's a marketplace, like you rightly said, like Amazon, it's like Google, and it's like Etsy, and it's all of that. And the best thing about it is that when people put their business on the platform, unlike Amazon, they will have to pay for transaction fees. So when they make money, at least a good amount goes to Amazon. But when the I mean, businesses are on Iron Marketplace, whatever you make is yours. If you make $1 million, that's your money. As long as you pay a tiny little subscription fees, you don't need to pay anything to Iwing Marketplace as transaction fees. And also people connect to you directly. That's another difference that we have with Amazon. When people okay. see you on Iwing Marketplace, like Mamwa, if your business is on Iwing Marketplace and people discover you there, they're gonna be able to visit your store, like your profile and then do your research to see if you're trustworthy or mm -hmm. to see if the product that you have match with what they're looking for. And mm -hmm. if they find out that uh, you meet their criteria, they will either shop through your website or they'll connect you with you directly. So you have the opportunity of building loyal customers. Mm -hmm. And you know mm -hmm. the, 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 the benefit, it comes with repeated sales, repeated purchases. It's, it's a lot. So this is what Iowa Marketplace is about. Thank you, Sean. Um, so now we are in this, what, what would you say to, to entrepreneurs who want to venture into, into agribusiness? How can they benefit from a platform like yours? That's a very, very good question, Mamwa. I, I always tell many people that, you know, think about this if you're starting a business. Food business is something that would always be very, very uh, attractive 
people will always eat, whether you like it or not. People may not buy clothes every day, but people will eat every day. So one of the first important thing I would like to say here is that we have gone to school. A lot of us, you know, I know you've gone to school and acquire this knowledge and we need to apply that knowledge to help our community. In Cameroon, it's lacking. Living in Asia for more than six years, I saw how the Thailand in particular has been able to transform itself through rice farming from one generation to the other, you know, like People learn from their parents and then continue with the same art and the same system that is in place. And Thailand today is the number one producer and exporter of rice. So I, I, I look at myself, Cameroon, from where we come from. We have fertile land from, from Northwest to Southwest. You know, we have potatoes, we have I mean, sweet pepper, everything can be grown there. But one thing is lacking we and we a lot of time right the people i mean i had a very good discussion with uh he was in the show at my memory is failing oh, me. with Ro with probably with the uh, uh, Roland, Roland from from Mundan, yeah. Roland. and he made a very good point that those who are uh producing those who are they are the farmers they don't have uh control over their products mm -hmm. right they farm all of this and then people come and buy for them at a cheap rate. So my, my point is that, you know, they have, they've been sponsoring to go to school and they are back home. And most people are thinking about going to work for someone whereas they already have the wealth within their family. So just take for example, right? You decide that you want to brand one of the crops that your family is producing, Mamwa. Take, for example, your family is producing potatoes and you decide to brand that potatoes, you create a brand name, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you package it very well. You have your own packaging. This, what I'm saying is, I mean, we all live in the West. We see it every day. There's nothing strange about that. You know, you create a special package or, or packaging for it. And then you look for your distribution channel. And then you you I mean, distributing it directly to uh, the shops and to individual. If you do that consistently for more than three or four years, do you know how much money you can make? You make a lot of money and you'll be able to grow because you have uh, loyal customers that maybe you don't, you, you might not even need to go out to deliver. They will be coming to you to pick it up themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, so this is where Iron Marketplace come in. So we, we need to brand this agricultural product, be it tomatoes, be it bell pepper, whatever, you know, you can find hands on and, and decide to go with it. Even if it's pepper, you know, we, we, need, we need to brand all this item and then we need to use the marketing strategies that are available for us, the marketing tactics. We have mm -hmm. a wide variety of them social media like facebook and instagram uh as well as youtube that is one we have marketplaces like iwin marketplace that is very very av affordable and available there's okay. jumia and, and other platforms so <laughs> we need to brand this item and then put it on this platform and then create content to educate people about mm -hmm. our product and when people see and trust you they will find you wherever you are to come and create a deal that they, you can be you know shipping to them directly or they can be coming you know to pick you up mm -hmm. agriculture is our only way to survive poverty it's our only way out of poverty but we are neglecting it because i know you agree with me. So many young people just want to travel out or just want to find a comfortable job that they will be sitting in one position day in, day out and make maybe 100,000, 200,000 CFA in Douala 
and then rely on their relative abroad to be sending money all the time. But they forget to know that those relatives abroad, they work extra hours to be able to afford to send money back home. And we get I mean, a lot of time, most people back home, if you ask them, most of them, they just do like maybe a nine to five and then weekend or after nine to five, they have nothing going on. They just drinking. All that money they be spending on buying drinks. If you invest that money into, let's say, a small ginger business where you've branded your ginger and looking for where to supply them, if you do that consistently for one or two years, do you know how much growth you can have in that business? Mm -hmm. So there is a category on iWing Marketplace. It's a foodstuff category. I, I wish I could share my screen if, if that is possible. Yeah. So like uh, it, it, this is the menu. If you go to categories and then uh, you just filter it right here. Oh, it's my, my screen sharing. I'm not really Yes, sure. yes it is. I, yeah, you just put food stuff and then you, you click on it. So this is the food stuff. This is the food category. You see, so you have I mean, young entrepreneurs who already understand this ideology and are branding themselves. Like you have Nagwa Mega Food, she's in Douala and she sells snails and she has branded her snails, you know. You have Northwest Farmers B. This is a business in Bamenda that has uh, branded uh, honey and, and are selling it, you know. So this is what we need to do. We need to brand whatever product we can find. And I, of course, this is Greenhouse Ventures. You know, they're doing, uh, they're cultivating pepper and cucumber. And you see, I mean, Roland Formundam, the head of uh, Greenhouse, has been able to brand himself well. And he's, he, he's on Iwin Marketplace as well. You know, these are the links of his social media. And then you can click right here. You go to his website mm -hmm. where you can shop directly or you contact him. So... Thank you so much, Ivan. So you just give it, you're just telling us how broad this thing is, right? How broad Iowing Marketplace is and how everybody can actually profit. So the buyers and the sellers. So you have something for those who have the businesses to kind of promote themselves. In other words, you don't have to enhance your posts on Facebook or on Instagram or different social media platforms because you will be doing the marketing for them. You'll be doing the promotion for them. Pretty much, right? So, so, um, so uh, there are many different tactics when it mm -hmm. comes to marketing. Social media is just a small aspect of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you also have the, the new uh, tactics of marketing nowadays. It's a marketplace like Amazon. So the diff and, and iWing marketplace. So the difference with Amazon and iWing marketplace as opposed to having an e-commerce site is that Amazon and Ivy Marketplace has a huge traffic. Thousands of people like Ivy Marketplace, you know, we have more than 200,000 people visiting our platform every month to search for, you know, products and services in the African community, mm -hmm. like um, a soya, uh, snails, event vendors like caterers, makeup mm -hmm. artists, and all of that, you know as well as handyman, uh, beauty products. And so just imagine, right? We try to use this foodstuff category, right? And we create as many brands as possible and list it on the foodstuff. A lot of people already using the platform and they'll be able to see this item. Everybody's looking for ways to cut costs to cut the middleman out mm -hmm. so that they can make, increase their profit margin. Mm -hmm. So imagine young people brand their product and put here. So come back to your question. When they are on Iowa Marketplace, right? They benefit because I'm marketing the, pro the, the, the platform. I'm spending a lot of money to market the platform. Already now I'm in Houston. I'm gonna be back in New York by next week, and then I'll fly to California to meet with other small business uh, owners there. And from California, I realized uh, I don't even need to pay up to $50 to get to, uh, about $60 to get to Las Vegas. 
and their Cameroonian and African businesses in the platform already on Highway Marketplace. So I'll stop, I'll move from California to, to Las Vegas to discuss with them and, you know, do some uh, training and little stuff in order to help them grow their business, you know? So when your business is on the platform and then I'm doing all this traveling, attending events and using all my marketing tactics to mm -hmm. advertise the platform, you're benefiting from that because you had to spend that money to advertise your own business. Mm -hmm. But then you're under my, my platform now and there are so many people that are coming to my platform due to the money that I'm spending to attract people. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's a big win for small business owners to be in the platform. They're just you know, benefiting or they, they, they're leveraging on, 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 the, on the advertisement money that I'm spending to mm -hmm. drive traffic to my platform or mm -hmm. to highway marketplace. So, okay. so but they, they still need to do their little social media tactics, like, you know, once in a while, post pictures on their Instagram and Facebook, because marketing has changed completely. It's not like back in the days where there was no social media. Now we have social media and social media serve as a uh, word of mouth and where to find reviews. Mm -hmm. I will marketplace have a section for reviews as well, but the more the better. So people will always come to your uh, Facebook or Instagram or YouTube page to look at your products, to look at how you respond to clients, mm -hmm. to look at the, the comments that are being made on your social media side. So when people are satisfied, trust me, they will call you. And you know, some people will even order without necessarily coming to your business location. Because with COVID now, we have to be mindful in the way we do business. If your business is not geared towards supplying to clients without them coming to your business location, then you're already lagging behind. Because most businesses have changed their strategy. Mm -hmm. Be it online training, be it mm -hmm. uh, caterers or uh, people with small jobs. Business. Yeah. Right, thank right. you thank you so much ivan so uh, oh yes you just put up uh, okay you want to explain uh, i'm gonna go to to shadrach in just a minute but can you just tell us what this is oh this this is a promotion where we are currently running and and trust me our goal is to be able to cut unemployment to help so many people young people to create opportunities for themselves you know so we we've cut down our fees totally we're charging $150 for your business to be listed on the platform for two years. And there are so many benefits you, you get from that. You know, you're able to reach more than 200,000 200, monthly active uh, shoppers or visitors to the platform. And, you know, they will always see your business. And even if they don't buy for you from you immediately, when they need you, they already know about your brand name, they will contact you. And then, you know, when you're on the platform, we create a free website for you on IWI Marketplace. This is one of the biggest problems we are facing right now. Most business owners back home cannot afford a website because it's costly and they need to know how to manage the, the back end. So if you're on IWI Marketplace, you have a website because there's a catalog and people can find your business information. So, it, it, it's very cost effective to use if you want to save money. And then of course, when you're on Highway Marketplace, you connect directly with customers and we share our content, your, your content to our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and, and other social media platforms. So just imagine you have all of that for $150 for two years. Tell me one more, isn't that, isn't that great? Sounds like a steal to me if you were to ask me, but yeah so it, it sounds really good to be true and it's just i mean one of the unique advantages you have um I, I ivan i'm gonna say is just that there is limited visibility of african businesses and you are actually uh, um, taking this uh, um lack of not having this ability to see african businesses and making it uh, um propagating it to our community at a time where almost everything is shifting to digital, which is absolutely 
awesome. I mean, if I have to look for that place to go get my achu, I just need to go to the nearby feature. Like you, you said, you know, you go to your website and then you go nearby businesses and I see who can do a galay for me, who can make some kwakoko Bible for me, who can, you know, this is just, it's absolutely amazing. And not only do those who have the, the, the businesses profit from it, but the consumer profits from it as well. I, I don't know about you guys, but I have to confess that I, I, I made a mistake of actually buying a, a plant. I bought a palm plant online and I saw that it was on Broadway, not too far from where I am, hoping that it was going to be delivered. And it was not cheap, guys. And what I got is I got a plastic branch. So talking about all of us moving to digital, we have the problem of cybersecurity and credibility and authenticity. So how do you, how do you reassure us about the, authentic, the authenticity of Iwing Marketplace and what, how can you educate both uh, uh, sellers and buyers about this new space we are exploring so we can conveniently and very uh, um, confidently uh, subscribe with I, I wing marketplace oh that's uh you you just hit the hit the most important point of the day security and uh, i would like to start by saying that uh by nature you know we africans you know we we, we don't trust each other as well not that other cultures trust each other that much but they've been able to overcome that to do business. But when it comes to our community, when it comes to, you know, Cameroonians, Nigerians, and, you know, there's a lot of uh, mistrust. And this is because of what has happened before, you know. So let me come back to, you know, Irene Marketplace and, you know, security. The first thing I would like you to know is that Irene Marketplace has uh, an iOS app and an Android app, you know. So just before you put those up on the Play Store and on the App Store, you know, you we, we go through strong security screening to be qualified to be there. So when you're playing with our app on, on this platform, you know it's highly secure. And then on the website, you know, we have the HTTPS protocol, which is the MA. We, we shows that the, the, the website is secure. Like if you go to a website, I will advise everybody, whenever you go to a website, right? Always look for HTTP and an S. If you don't see S there, don't engage. Don't put your uh, information on that website. It means it can easily be uh, assessed by hackers or whoever. But when you go to a website and you see HTTP with an S, they know that S stands for security. So apart from that, I was mindful with the people that I'm dealing with, you know. A lot of us, uh, a good number of Camonians, especially those back home and those abroad, you know, we always worry when it comes to using our credit card online. Mm -hmm. So I I'm trying to encourage everybody, you know, to use PayPal when doing transaction, because uh, PayPal, you know, they have one of the best uh, point of sale platform and they attend to dispute. Like whenever you have a, there's a dispute between a vendor or a buyer and seller, PayPal, they, they, they open a query where they address the situation. So those are some of the ways we've been able to, you know, bring many businesses or many business owners on board because they know like, you know, they can use PayPal, they can use Cash App, they can use Zelle. So the, when, when, when customers are buying, the money comes to them immediately uh, through their smartphone or it goes to their PayPal account immediately. And then when it comes to uh, people shopping or for, like, let's say for products and not getting it, you know, we also intervene when it comes to that. So that's why I take upon one of the most important things that I do on a daily basis. You know, before people list before people list their business, I make sure I screen them. I make sure I find out that they are running an authentic business. They are professional. If not, if you don't meet my criteria, no matter how much money you're giving me, your business is not going to be on the platform. 
So with this strategy, I think I've only had one complaint where a client had bought pop-off mix and then it wasn't delivered to her. You know, it wasn't shipped to her in Atlanta. So I had to reach out to the uh, to the seller to return the money, and which she did. So that's the only complaint I have had, and it was well taken care of. So still on the point of security, uh, most people are afraid to use the platform. You know, that's, I mean, the numbers I have now is great, but more people could be on the platform. But I've spoken to some people and I show them like, oh, this is the website, click on it. And their heart was beating fast, like they're gonna have a heart attack. <laughs> So I'm still educating them on, you know, how secure the platform is. Mm -hmm. And, you know, to answer your question, security, no matter how secure anything is, you still have to do your own research before mm -hmm. you engage. So I always advise people, like if you come to iWing Marketplace and you are able to locate a a vendor that you want to do business with. Make sure you go through their social media pages. Make sure you visit their website. You look at their terms and condition so that in case you have any problem, you can know how to mediate with them. And also people buy because they trust you. And when there's no trust, no matter what you're selling, people will never buy from you. So it's the role of the vendors to build trust with the community okay. as well. Thank you so much, Ivan. Thank you, thank you for that. And thank you for educating, educating us on, on cybersecurity and how to safeguard and keep our, our valued information um, um, to ourselves or, or, or only sharing it with those that matter. One, one more thing. So, yeah. so uh, we were talking about, uh, tractor so like there's a construction category and you have like dmc enterprise he has all these uh tractors like you can see right now so if anybody is going into uh construction or farming you know they can make use of those equipment i shared uh on the screen okay. right now yeah thank thank you ivan thank you very very much and at this juncture, permit me to just uh, give a shout out to those who are watching on Facebook. Uh, um, I mean, this webinar has been shared by 74 people, now live viewers on Facebook. So we are hitting a target audience. So we are just glad that people are getting information, tune into this platform. This is a platform where our main purpose is to educate, is to engage and to inspire Cameroonians. We are here to work together hand in hand let us make the progress that we need to make to be able to go to where we are going to. We are the generation we have been waiting to make that change. So we are the ones to make that change today. And it starts with one step. Ivan, so Ivan, some parting words from you um, with regard to Ivan Marketplace um, before we wrap up our show. Thanks again, uh, Mama, for this uh, opportunity. And uh, I just want to say one important thing to everyone out there, you have an opportunity to reach thousands of customers without spending a whole lot of money. There are many tactics to use to reach customers. There's Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube, your personal website, and all of those. But what I've seen a lot of people or many people do is that they focus only on one tactics, which is uh, probably uh, Facebook or their social media. But I would like to encourage you out there watching that don't make this mistake. Marketing is all about putting your business everywhere your potential customers are. So if you are in a business where your customers are like Cameroonians or Africans, you want to put your business also where you can find most of them. I'm not saying don't put your business on Google map or don't use Facebook and Instagram. No, you have to 
use all this platform. That's all what marketing is. You have to show up where your potential clients are searching. And one great thing that, you know, people in Cameroon, like in Boya, Bamenda, or Cameroonian living abroad, you know now, and other Africans is that you have a platform where people can actually search for businesses that they would normally not find on Google. And this platform is called iWing Marketplace. So if you're in Boya, and you know we're talking about unlimited growth opportunity, truly the ease, you have to start somewhere. You might start and think that people will laugh at you. No one really cares. You will never start perfect, but you have to start in order to improve. So whatever you're doing, whatever you choose to do, like Humphrey was asking, you always find a category that fits what you're doing on mm -hmm. Ivy Marketplace. And if, it's, if there's no category for you, with me, we can add it right away. So we, we, you, if you're an event caterer or an event vendor, like uh, makeup artist, caterer, uh, DJ, MC, you know, there are categories or there's a category for you on iWing Marketplace. So make sure to contact me and put your business there so people can see you. Take, for example, when you get in touch with the carpenter and you get his number, will you go home and then you start calling him immediately? No. But when you have uh, maybe a problem with your roof, you remember that, oh, I have this number of Mr. John, who is a carpenter. Let me call him. So this is how I will marketplace work pretty much. People will always see you. So that's a huge benefit for you because they get used to your brand. They see you all the time. And just like Coca-Cola, just like Burger King are doing, advertising their brand everywhere. That's how people will see you on Ivy Marketplace and your brand name will stick on their brain. And for all that, you don't even have to break a bank, you know, you're spending just peeing up. So I, lastly, I encourage everyone, if you don't have a small business, you have to start something because mm -hmm. opportunities are shrinking. We have uh, artificial intelligence taking mm -hmm. over uh, so many jobs. So you have to find something that this, AI cannot do, and mostly AI cannot do things that involve using the hand. So don't neglect your little breeding skills or your little makeup skills or agriculture. We're talking about agriculture. There are so many opportunities when it comes to agriculture, and you don't need to be a farmer. Like uh, Ariel Benson said, you don't need to be a farmer to invest in agriculture, mm -hmm. you know? You can get contact with people supplying plantain, cocoyam, and then you become uh, a middleman. Mm -hmm. Or you can start a restaurant and you cut the middleman, you go and buy directly from these farmers. Mm -hmm. And then you, 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 you sell, you make a lot of profit. So we should not rely only on government jobs. We should not rely only on, you know, sitting in a private company and putting on batch on our neck and moving that everything is fine. We have to work harder. If you want to succeed, you have to put in the hard work. So everyone reach out to me. If you already have a business, IW Marketplace gives you the option to advertise your business 24 seven. Each time people come to our platform, they're gonna see you. Yeah. IW Marketplace is your sales person. If you have to, if you have to hire people to work for you to talk about your business every year, imagine how much that will cost you. But yeah. Iron Marketplace is your sales system. It will talk about your business 24 seven. It will give yeah. opportunity yeah. to click and go to your social media. So guys, contact me, let's talk. It's very okay. affordable. And if you're in Cameroon, you have a special rate. You pay like very low fees because our goal is to encourage young people in Cameroon. Thank oh, yes. you so much. I, I can see, Ivan, you are a salesperson. I can totally see that. I mean, you talked about, let's diversify in this world of, uh, or in this area of limitless possibilities. Thank you very much, Ivan, for being on the show. Thank you, Shadrach, for being on the show today. We have